Okay, we're back in here at the old freebie garage that we moved on site here. And we're gonna put a roof vent in. Actually, we're gonna put a couple of them in, but I'm gonna start with this first one, see how it goes. The attic is, um, the rafters are wide open right now, so it's not a difficult at all to figure out where the rafters are. And because uh, I know that can be tricky if you don't want to obviously put the vent where the rafters run, but I think we're going to start about three rafters in, three sets in, and uh, we'll go up to the top and check it out. All right, so we're going to put this roof vent in today. And I know my rafters are two foot on center. There's one here at four and then there's one at six. So I'm gonna put it between the two. And first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some chalk lines going. Um, this opening is a 10 by 10. So I'm gonna make a chalk line 10 by 10 within this um, area here, the two foot section, center it up nice. And I, I want to put it. I want to put it right here, so it's got two full layers of shingles plus the hip shingles exposed, and then the vent starts. And then, so this is how I want it to lay. So I'm going to make my ten by ten. Now that I got my lines marked, I'm going to go ahead and cut it with my skill saw. the wind it's really picked up now what I want to do is lift up these shingles along here and make sure there's no nails under there get them loose so we can slide it up inside where it belongs And what I did now is I cut out all the way down to the tar paper. I cut this top section right where the top of this is going to um, rest. And then when you slide it in, you go underneath all the layers of shingles all the way down to the tar paper. Slide it in like so. Make sure it's straight across the bottom here. And now I can put in these pre-drilled holes, I'll put three nails and I'll put a nail on either side here of between the ridges, I'll put the nail. And then that's it. It should be just fine. Um, except for that little piece there I have to fill in that I cut. But happy with the way that turned out and it should line up too. It should line up so the top of your, your vent runs to the bottom of this row of shingles here and then the bottom, you know, just barely ends right before this layer of shingles, this row of shingles. I like it. First one went good, so I ended up doing a second one. And that too turned out good, except I had a, a nail, a real pesky nail that was stuck up in this corner. And I did tear my shingles a little bit. So I'll have to make sure I blackjack that pretty good. Um, all right, so I put the finishing touches on. I used 
blackjack or roofing cement and I caulked along the sides here and then um, I did where the screws were gonna go in underneath but I did not do it here in case water would somehow get underneath there way up on top if you want a place for it to go I guess I didn't need a huge gap but still it's unnecessary to caulk that very edge this is a halfway steep roof there's no way rain's gonna force its way up in there and be an issue and then whatever shingles wherever they were loose like this you know I made sure to seal that a little bit and then where I had my uh, mistake there caulk that in and then I put caulk or uh, blackjack on top of the nail heads too just to seal them in good So, same thing with this one. Blackjack does get everywhere. It's kind of hard to work with. Likes to drip everywhere. It wasn't too tough of a project. I mean, it took me a little while to get my, took more time to get all the tools up here and to know for sure what I needed, but roofing nails I used, I guess, were about an inch and a half. And Yeah, now it won't be um, hotter than Hades in my garage. When the door is shut, it'll hopefully be halfway decent, and then you'll get some, get some air flow. That'll help a lot. You know, I came back and I did some caulking here. I did some blackjack along the top. If you think about it, water's gonna hit here, and it's gonna just drive it right under there. So that really needs some sealant there along that spot for sure. And I did seal up the bottom edge. Who knows what might happen. I went out a little bit too on the, the um, shingles on the sides here. Did that to both of them. I think this is gonna be beneficial to have that, especially on the top there. It's, something that's just got to be done.